manager was commenting on a uh, petition uh, that has appeared at uh, change.org uh, in which you were offered the chance to um, sign up to ban Tom Cleverley from the World Cup. This is what it said. Tom Cleverley, owner of 13 England caps, six more than Ross Barkley, Adam Lallana and Leon Osman combined, has been regularly selected by Roy Hodgson in his squads without possession, without possessing any genuine qualities whatsoever. We believe for the reputation of this proud footballing nation that he should be prevented from participating in this summer's international showcase. Whilst England are considered to disappoint at major tournaments, further embarrassment could be avoided by not having this inept performances, his inept performances, undermining the rest of the team's efforts. So there we are. Uh, that was put up by uh, Glenn McConnell in Blackpool. And uh, Glenn joins us now. Glenn, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Glenn, what, what, was, what was the idea? What was the reason for doing it? Well, it started off as just a bit of a laugh. Um, the majority of the people I speak to about football, whenever uh, Tom Cleverley arises in conversation, um, no, no one really um, can can back up his, um, his uh, inclusion in the England squad um, from, from the people I spoke to anyway. Um, so uh, when I was watching the United Olympiacos game last week, uh, I just... I just thought I'd put up a petition for just to see what happened with it, just to have a bit of a laugh with my mates, and it's just gone viral, and uh, the media have picked up on it, and it's just really taken off. What, so what, did, you, what it, did you think when Roy Hodgson commented on it? I mean, he was obviously a journalist, sort of put it out there to see if he'd have a nibble on it, and a lot of managers wouldn't have done, but he did. He felt strongly enough about it to to, to say that he, he didn't agree with it. Obviously, as you'd imagine, he'd say. But what did you make of it when you heard he'd commented on it? Uh, well, I was on the train back from Manchester last night and um, I just start, started getting texts and uh, messages on Facebook saying uh, he'd mentioned, he'd, uh, he'd, he'd spoken about it. Well, um, I, I, was, I was quite surprised. I didn't think it would go that far um, to, to have been raised in a press conference. Um, but um, I, I'm glad that it's, it's got out there because um, it does highlight... Um, what I think is a problem with the uh, the selection process of the England squads that players at, at the big, more illustrious clubs will get selected over um, players at smaller teams. But why, like why, do you, why do you think Roy Hodgson would possibly select someone who was, in your opinion, not good enough just because he... he played for Manchester United. I mean, let's remember, you know, there's what is there, there's four Southampton players in the current squad. Why what what on earth yeah. would be in it for Roy Hodgson or any England manager to you know favour players from bigger clubs? Well obviously those bigger clubs do have the, the bigger fan bases and it's easier to get them on side behind those players. Um but I think um you've got to look at the likes of Huddleston, Livermore and Shelby, who in the summer uh, made moves to, to less fashionable sides, uh, they've put, performed to a much higher standard than Cleverly, and um, they've they've not even been uh, included in the squad. Had this um, been Glenn, if this been twelve months ago, you probably would have been doing ban Jordan Henderson from the the World Cup squad, and Jordan Henderson in the last six, eight months has, has really trained on. It's like to look like the player he was at Sunderland and he's almost certainly going to go to the World Cup and could start quite a lot of games. So things can change very quickly in football, can't they? Yeah, and I think um, I think uh, a big part of uh, Jordan Henderson kicking on is um, the revelations by uh, Alex Ferguson in his autobiography. They've got a bit of criticism. He's taken that on board and he can become a stronger player for it. I think Cleverly can do the same. Reference to the Barcelona midfielders, Xavi Iniesta. Do you hold your hands up and say, well, they're in a different league, or do you, do you feel you belong in that company? I don't think when you're playing against them, you think, you know, they're in a different league. I think. It's